so we are done with this we understand like how you can go from one screen to other very simple uh what i want to do is uh, i'll get the rid of this you know um, body of this second screen and uh, what i want to do is i want to come back to my home screen and before we navigate to this new second screen what we want to do is we want to get the data now how would we do that it should again happen in our on pressed uh let us return to our web browser and what we want to do is make an http call in flutter have the url of our api which returns some data but we want to make an http call in flutter so there is a very simple cookbook by the flutter team itself on how you can fetch and display data with flutter and says add the http package what are these packages and how to find them so in flutter a lot of the functionality is made available through packages which you can reuse in your flutter application uh all the flutter packages can be accessed or all the dart packages and plugins you can find them on pub.dev which is like the official package repository so we again know what package we want to add which is the http package but you can also search for based on your use case and you can also select the different platforms the sdks and maybe find out what is the flutter favorite or recommended package so http is our first choice which is a package that basically lets you uh, make api calls in flutter and they have also included like how can you use it uh, the different examples installing how do you install this and have like pub points voted up voted by different people uh, on this and you can also view the code for this particular package by going over to their github repository and if you run into something you can create a new issue so http is the package we want to use now how to use this so we'll copy the uh, copy this http package come down to our pubspec.yaml which basically uh, should contain all information of the dependencies as i i had mentioned so in this dependencies i'll paste the http package that i copied under this cupertino icons and now before i can use this i'll have to save this file and run something called flutter pub get so flutter pub get should run automatically but if it doesn't you can go over to your terminal and type in this command flutter pub get and it should get the packages for you so once this is done it's still running so it it was successful and once this is done i can come back to my home screen uh, inside the on pressed of this button where i want to make this api call so here we have the using for this particular uh, package the first step is importing this package so i can copy this line of code and import at the top of my file now you'll see that we are importing this particular package as http we can use http to uh, get the different functionality from this package and now they have mentioned an example of how you can have a variable url uh, which would have the url you want to make this request to and you'll get some response you can wait on that uh, response here they are making a post request now when you're posting something uh, you can make a http dot post but in our case we want to get some data of this api so we'll be making something called a get request so quickly i'll just copy this particular code and come back to the on pressed of my button and paste it here i can format document and just wait for it all right now instead of this particular example i want to use my api base url that i have so i can replace this with this particular url and instead of making a http dot post i want to make a http dot get which would not have this body parameter uh, it would just take in this url and try to get data from it and lastly we'll have these print statement which would print out the response status and the response body so that we can see what data we are getting now there is also this another keyword which is the await keyword what is this now if i'll keep my cursor on top of it you'll see like the await 
expression can only be used in an async function i'll have to make this function async and what do i mean by that so in flutter when there is a function that would you know take time now this data might take time to be retrieved uh, so we have to make this function async that is like it should asynchronously complete uh, while the other processes can get done but we are using this await keyword here why because when we make this get request we need to wait for it like uh, while our uh, api is being called while we get this data and while we wait on this response like we want to wait for this http dot get to occur so that the response variable would get the data in it and only after that would these statements be executed if the await keyword was missing here what would happen is like before this get request could complete uh, we will try to print out uh, the response dot status code and body but by that time we would not have a response value completely inside this variable so this would mean like we'll get a error which right now is saying like isn't defined because uh, we we wouldn't have this future response until then and we need to wait for this http get dot complete before we can print out something of it so that is what we are trying to do inside this particular function and if i just hot reload my application let us see if we are able to print out something we are doing a hot reload because we just added a new flutter package so we want to take these files to this uh, emulator that we have so this is again a go to screen elevated button that we have so if i click on it i should get some response in my terminal so i should get some response in my debug console and you'll see like after we restarted our application we got a response status code which is 200 and a response body as mentioned here response body which was this particular message so we were successfully able to get data of this api and we got it printed out to console 